11. How do leaders help their communities? Leaders are people who help make important decisions. In this chapter, you will learn how people choose leaders. You will also learn what leaders do to help their communities. People vote for leaders. In most communities, people vote for their leaders. When you vote, you say who you think is best. People who want to be leaders tell the community their ideas. Then adults in the community vote for the person they think will be the best leader. The government is the group of people chosen to lead a community. Leaders have many important jobs to do. It is hard work to be a leader, but it can be fun too. Leaders help make laws. Community leaders help make laws for the community. Some laws help people stay safe. There are laws to tell people how fast they should drive. There are laws to tell people where they can ride their bicycles and skateboards. Some laws help the community stay clean and beautiful. There are laws to stop people from throwing trash on the ground. There are laws about where it is okay to walk a dog in a city. Leaders spend money for services. Community leaders decide how to spend the community's money. Every community needs people to help keep it safe. This is the job of firefighters and police officers. Leaders decide how much money to spend on these services. They also decide how much to spend on fire trucks and police cars. Every community needs people to work on its streets, sidewalks, and parks. Leaders decide how much money to pay these workers. Leaders decide what to build. Community leaders decide where to build new buildings and parks. Leaders think about what new buildings the community needs. They also think about what buildings will look like. They work with people in the community to make decisions. These decisions help make sure everyone can enjoy the buildings and parks in a community. Summary. People vote for leaders to make important decisions. Leaders make laws for the community. They decide how to spend money on services. They decide what buildings and parks to build in the community. Leaders vote for the dogs. Community leaders make many decisions. How do people have a voice in the decisions made in their community? Wayne Rasatka loves to play with his dog Tucker. Tucker enjoys playing with other dogs and running free. But Wayne and Tucker live in Long Valley, New Jersey. Like many communities, Long Valley has laws about dogs. They are not allowed in any city parks. Some people in Long Valley had backyards where their dogs could play. Others did not. Many dogs had no place to play with other dogs. They had no place to run free. Dog owners wanted to fix the problem. Tucker loves to be outside. Wayne and some friends had an idea. No one used the ball field up on a hill. It would make a perfect dog park where dogs could play without leashes. Wayne decided to bring his idea to his town government. Wayne formed a group to work on the project. First, he asked people's opinions. Many people said they would like a dog park and would help build it. Wayne knew that citizens have certain rights. One is the right to free speech. He told town leaders why dog owners wanted the park. He said that dog owners would pay for the dog park and take care of it. Town leaders studied plans for the dog park. Not everyone was happy about the idea. There is a horse farm near the ball field. The farm's owner was afraid the dogs would scare her horses. Other people worried the dog park could cost the town a lot of money. They also used their freedom of speech to share their fears with the town leaders. Town leaders asked a lot of questions. They listened to both sides. Then they took a vote. They decided the dog park would be good for Long Valley. They told Wayne his group could build the park. Volunteers got to work. People raised money to buy fences. They cleaned up the fields and planted new grass. At the town hall, town leaders voted yes for the dog park. Kids helped too. Emily Peel wanted to build a path. She showed her plans to the town leaders. They liked her idea. Emily pulled weeds, moved rocks, and poured gravel for her path. Justin Gunter also helped. He built a picnic area. He also made a flower garden. Now dogs and owners love the dog park. It's a great example of how people worked with town leaders to make good decisions for the community. Emily worked hard on the path. Long Valley dogs enjoy their park. Now you will answer the questions in the resource area.